So if you've gone out and bought yourself a 4K capture device, it probably looks like this or like the one I got, like this. Now I run this splitter straight into the PC and then one HDMI goes into the back of this, the other HDMI goes into the TV and then the PlayStation or Xbox or old console, whatever your input is, goes here. So HDMI to the TV, HDMI to the capture card, to the PC through USB and then HDMI to console. Now, if you're using OBS, you want to go in and create a new video capture device. And if I click on here, bang, it should look like this and it should say device USB video. But if it doesn't, it's a simple fix. It just means that you've got your camera off and I'll show you what it looks like with the camera off so you can confirm that you're seeing the same thing no capture device anymore and if I go back onto say the PS5 you can see that the USB video isn't there anymore and the reason for this is because when the camera is switched off it will not display it and this is most likely what's happening to you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into settings then I'm going to type in camera I'm going to go camera privacy settings I'm going to turn my camera on and I'm going to go down and just make sure OBS is enabled right, now if I go back into PS5 you can see that the option is there and if I go back um, let's just enable PS5 ok so what you want to do is you're going to want to close it and open it back up once you've done that so let's just start a new one video capture device okay there it is cameras on you gotta have your camera on on your computer if you want this because this device actually treats itself as a camera so you can see in USB video properties this device is treated as a USB video so a camera essentially so for this to work it has to be on once you do that you pretty much ready to start recording so there you go it's as easy as that